Guys, we just finished Second Awakening, what I think is going to be the best 2A unit of this entire patch, of this entire update, Linda the Light Mystic, which I think, in my opinion, we'll see today how we feel about her, but in my opinion, she seems like she's going to be just light years beyond the rest of it. Just, she does so much, she's just a hard counter to, she just does a lot. She reminds me of the Dark Weapon Master, but she also prevents things from being revived, which counters a lot. To be honest, he counters a lot. So, uh, yeah, I just feel like she's light years beyond everything else. So I was like, we gotta do her first. I hope Comp to Us doesn't nerf her. We'll see. I don't know. It just seems like she's a unit that's very much stronger than everything else that we get in the patch. Uh, but anyway, we got the first skill, Continuous Damage. It's basically not... It's just Continuous Damage. It's nothing. Uh, I did Devilmon her. I felt like she deserved Devilmons. I was playing around with her to, like, level her up, and I was like, wow. She's a very good unit. Um, Jealousy, it's a defense break and also tech, uh, tech bar absorb over here. Activated with 100% if the enemy has beneficial effects. And then this harmful effect rate actually goes up 20%. Uh, in my opinion, this needs to be upgraded. This needs to be upgraded as well because we've got the damage, which you really need the damage in the cool time turn as well. But even the 20% extra damage is super good. Cool time turn minus one is super good on here. But yeah, th I mean, this is the AoE defense break attack age absorb, kind of like the fire pony. And then we have the comet summoning, uh, which is basically every debuff. It's basically like Oki, but instead of doing, because it's an AoE multi hits, right? Excuse me. But instead of stuns, it's just every, literally every other debuff. We got the decreased attack power, decreased attack speed, glancing and also block beneficial effects and then they can't be revived during battle it's just such a ridiculously it seems like such a ridiculously good skill but let's find out now she also has her accuracy leader skill which we'll use just in case we need it but probably not going to use most of the time so let's see how we feel about her so here's the game plan we got to outspeed as we usually do with any arena offense kind of situation we're going to outspeed we're going to attack bar pushback we're going to attack buff defense break and then we're going to nuke things down with 2A Linda, and hopefully we kill things. I mean, it, she, she's on Vaughn. She's not on our rage. So hopefully we get... I think she actually... Oh, no. That's that's bad. That's not... No, don't do that. Okay, so we're already off to a bad start. Fantastic. Let's do this. And then we need to kill now. That's, that's the game plan. So I think that she actually might need to be on rage. Let's do Comet Summoning. We nerf the crap out of everything. They can't revive. They can't revive. That's, um, I'm already sold. It was the first match. <laughs> it was the first match. I'm already sold. Uh, don't need to worry about anything. Fantastic. Okay. Beautiful. Lovely. I already, I already love, even though they did outspeed us. So that could have, that could have definitely gone much worse. <laughs> that could have definitely gone much worse, but it didn't. That's all we care about. <laughs> that it didn't go much worse. Next match, we got a Tian Lang, we got a Kaki, and whatever. So we're gonna do. I mean, this is the. We're just we're just looking for things which like Vanessa and things that we can take this uh, two A Linda into. So although I don't think this is a very crazy deep because you would still take a lot. You could take a a Chiwu into this as well. So let's see if we're actually we're probably only gonna kill the Kaki. Hopefully we actually kill the so we didn't kill okay so that's not the one I thought we were gonna kill but we did nerf uh, Kaki enough to actually not be able to do too much to us okay this is this didn't go as I had expected it to go but I'll take it uh, let's do this one let's do this one and then I guess we'll do and then it doesn't really matter does it hey additional turn yeah I think we need her to be on uh, rage though. Not on violent. I think that makes much more sense than on violent. This one is perfect. It's not a really good defense, but it is perfect for what we're trying to show right here. So same situation we're going to go for. I assume this is going to be a swift savannah trying to catch people that don't have will runes. Like my, no, it's just not. It's not an anything. Okay. So we'll do one of these. Not that we really need Samoth here. We could use other things. It's just there for the 33 speed lead because we want to make sure we outspeed. But we actually didn't need it for this. So, Comet Summoning. Do we kill some... I don't think we're going to kill Samoth. We, well, we'll see if we kill Samoth. We're going to kill Perna. We're going to kill whatever. Kill things. Really needs to be on Rage. Really, really needs to be on Rage. So, the issue here, though, is now... Oh, never mind. 
Oh, because we reset him. That's why. Because we reset him with Samoth. So he still didn't revive. Here's another one. It's dangerous to take a Triton into Clara and uh, Carnal, but uh, but that's what we would want to take against the Tian Lang anyway, right? So we actually, we got the one that I didn't think we were going to, I don't even understand this game anymore. We got the one I didn't think we were going to get. So let's see, Comet Summoning, we're going to kill this Samoth, and then we should nerf the crap out of everything else. So beautiful. Okay, I think we should probably shouldn't be doing this with uh, with the Samoth in here. We should probably be doing this with, like, Vanessa, because Vanessa, you know... With Samoth there, he can just uh, cool down reset things. So, let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. It's lovely, isn't it? It is lovely. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. An amazing dot right there. Fantastic. Here's another one, double revivers. We could definitely hit this. We could also hit it with like a wind demon if you guys want to. But this is just a, a free to play. For... It's not free to play friendly. You have to summon. It's an LD3. So you do have to still summon the LD3. But yeah. Do we actually get it? And do we actually do enough damage? We got to put her on rage. We got to put her on rage. Okay, so we did enough to even on violent. We did enough damage. Let's put her on rage next. Let's switch up the runes. Put her on rage. And, are we gonna put on rage? Yeah, we'll put on rage. <laughs> Switch up the roots, <laughs> and uh, and put her on rage, and then we'll see. Uh, we'll see how she does on rage. I think rage makes more sense on her, though. Honestly, no, we could have just used. It doesn't matter. So a few things in this situation here. We first off, we have her on rage now, so she's gonna do more damage. Second off, is that even if we don't kill Gianna, for example. Uh, or these other things, they still have, they would still have a glancing hit debuff, so let's see. Uh, or <laughs> we still hope they have a glancing hit, glancing hit, attack, power break, so we can still survive a little bit more. Oh, that's not that fast. I thought that was going to be faster. Well, I mean, we do have Samoth. Samoth is significantly faster than, um, Gianna. So, let's do this. Let's see if we do a little bit more damage than we did before with the Comet Summoning. at all oh, those debuffs, man. Perna's got nothing. Okay, beautiful. And then we'll do that. Also, the slow is not bad. Slow is not bad. It's, uh... Guys, did you know slow is not bad? <laughs> slow is not bad. It denies them some, uh, some turns. Some turns, some turn cycling. Of course, it doesn't really matter right now because... She got her, uh, she got her stuff off anyway. So we're gonna take it into this. One of the reasons that I want to take it into this is because it's gonna be good against Vanessa and Perna. And also block beneficial effects against the Halfus if we actually get it on. We should probably put some more accuracy if we want to really make sure we landed on this Halfus. <laughs> we won't even take the shield off him. Okay, so we did get the shield off. Let's do this overwhelm. Let's do this time to loot. Let's see, the Camila is going to be an issue. I mean, we'll see if the Camila is going to be an issue. Let's see if we get these block beneficial effects. We did a little bit too late though, but we still, we still got the... Uh, so what's it called? Okay. We need a heal block. We don't have a heal block. Heal block would be nice here. Let's do... Let me do this. I like to always do this on... That's a questionable play, but I like to always do that on Camila because Camila, as soon as Camila starts getting turns, if we don't have like a Kaki or an Onimusha or something like that... Let's do this. Let's start doing damage. No, don't kill. No, don't kill. Don't kill. Don't kill. Let's do this. So we got the block beneficial effect, so it should be fine anyway, right? I mean, whatever. It <laughs> might not be fine. It is Summoner's War. But, yeah, let's do this. Camila's going to get a turn. Camila's going to do skill 1 into skill 2. It's going to do a lot of nonsense here. Okay, but it's fine because we got the block beneficial effects, which is another added bonus, which makes it even more meta because you could take it into these Light Liches. So, let's watch uh, Camila solo us because, I don't know, because Summoner's War... <laughs> I just assume, I just assume if Camila, if, if something can possibly go wrong, not necessarily Camila, but if something can possibly go wrong, something will go wrong. Actually, we didn't even, hold on, we didn't even need to take Triton, we didn't even need to take Samoth, we could have taken, we could have taken a completely different team. We did not need to take this. Seriously, we did not need to take this. We're gonna lose because we actually didn't even need to take this. Because there was, they were not, they weren't gonna outspeed us. We didn't need to take Samoth Triton. We could have taken something else that had more sustain, or that was a better counter to Camila. 
it's Chris, just gonna so. End of the day, no regrets making her as the first two-way unit. I think that she's still gonna wind up being the best of all of them. Uh, that's at least why I wanted to two-way her first. My only regret is not being able to fully skill her up on Jealousy. Harmful effect rate plus 20 would be nice. And then this, but this really doesn't matter. We just got to put some more efficient runes on her. She's on Rage Focus. We got to put some more efficient runes on her uh, overall because I do plan on actually using her on a regular basis, which is great. Uh, she does what she's supposed to do. I don't, I don't know if she... I'm still on the fence of like, whether she's like a little bit too strong or if she's... Because I mean, she's, I feel like she's significantly stronger than everything else. But whatever, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. I will see you as always in the next one.